This video is going to show you the steps involved in solving a simple kinematics word problem. To begin with, let's read the problem. A car is slowing down from 22 meters per second to a stop in 15 meters. What is the car's acceleration? In order to figure out this problem, we need to look at the givens. And the givens are those numbers and concepts that are in the word problem itself. To start with, we're going to look for unit clues. So as I read through the problem, I can see it's slowing down from 22 meters per second. So meters per second to unit clue, it's distance over time for a velocity. Since this velocity is at the beginning of the motion, this 22 meters per second is going to be the initial velocity. If I keep reading, I can see that it comes to a stop. So that's going to be the latter half of the motion. So it's coming to a stop, the end of the motion. So because the word stop implies that we're not moving, our final velocity is going to be zero. And if I keep on reading, I can see another unit clue after the number 15. It's meters, that's a distance. So that's going to be our displacement, or x. Now remember, we're solving problems. We're going to make x not equal to zero for a while. So x is equal to really the change in x, or the displacement itself, not just the final position. And finally, let's write down what we're looking for. That's an acceleration. So that's going to be the variable a. That's going to be what we're going to look for. And all these variables are going to help us to identify which equation we can use to solve the problem. Now, let's take a look at all of our equations that we have for kinematics. What we're going to do is go through this process of elimination. And we'll compare the variables in the equations to the variables in my givens. If ever I have an equation, a variable that's in the equation but not in my list of givens, that'll rule out a formula for me. So I'm going to look at the first one, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 f a t squared. If I look at the first variable in here, x, I can see that it's also in my list of givens. So that's good. I'll look at the next variable, x naught. That's always going to be 0. That's always going to be on my list of givens. And then I'll keep going across the um, formula. So v naught, it's in my list of givens. t is not in my list of givens. So what that's telling me is I can't use that formula because I can only have one unknown in the formula, and that's got to be the letter a. So this means I have two unknowns in the one formula. I cannot use that one formula to solve it. So now I'll move on. So if I can find another situation where I have one formula. The next equation, I have v in the formula and the list of givens. I have v naught in the formula and the list of givens. I have a in the formula and the list of givens. But again, I don't have t in the list of givens. That means I have two unknowns in this one formula, so I can't do it. So let's keep on searching. In the next equation, for the average velocity, I really don't use the v average part. Instead, typically use x over t is equal to v plus v naught over 2 to solve a problem. So if I look at this one and start going through my list, I can see that x is in my formula and it's in my list of givens. But again, when I hit t, it's not in my list of givens. That means that I can't use that formula either. Now, it is possible to use one of these formulas to find t, such as um, this formula, for example. I could use this x over t is equal to v plus v naught over 2 and find the time and then use that in one of the other formulas to find out what I want. But right now I'm just going to look for one formula to do the job. And that's not this one. So let's look at the last formula. If I start going through my list, I can look in the formula. I've got v in my list of givens and in my formula. I've got v naught in my formula and my list of givens. i got a in my formula and my list of givens. And I have x, which really is the change in x or displacement because remember x naught is equal to 0. That's in both places, so that's going to be the formula to use. v squared equals v naught squared plus 2ax. So the next step is to plug in my numbers from my list of givens. So v, final velocity is 0. The initial velocity for my list of givens is 22 meters per second. And plus 2a times x. Now I know it's slowing down, so the acceleration should be negative. But I'm going to make it positive in my formula. And then what's going to happen is, or in my equation I guess, and what's going to happen is my math should come out negative for this whole process. So the next step is I'm going to work in this unit system. I'm going to suppress the units, get rid of them all together, show a little bit of math, solve for A, and sure enough, A comes out as negative 16.13 meters per second squared, which means it goes the opposite direction of my motion of the car. In other words, I'm removing velocity in this case. So when solving a problem, you need to list the givens, show the variable, show the numbers, show the units for all the problems. And for me, I also want you to give me a little bit about the direction with the arrows. Show me your unknown as well, in this case, the acceleration in my list of givens. Show me the formula with only the variables. Show me the numbers and units in the formula in the next step. Show me a little bit of math. Don't have to be too much, though. If it's really easy, you can skip it. And finally, show me the answer, the correct answer, with numbers and units.